these proposals that we only heard about just a couple of days ago to reduce again certain disability benefits were a step too far for him surely that's a point of principle for him well as i said i think up until friday of last week when this latest round of cuts to uh, support for disabled were uh, rolled out and rolled out with a briefing to say that these would pay for uh, tax cuts for the wealthiest 15 percent in this country so there was a clear connection and Ian Duncan Smith is right to point to that in his resignation letter but I say again he has overseen already many billions of pounds worth of cuts uh, to not just the disabled in this country but working people who didn't think before the last election when they heard talk of 12 billion pounds worth of welfare savings that it was going to be working people in tax credits and universal credit as we saw uh, a couple of months back and now the disabled through PIP and ESA cuts who are going to pay the price uh, for balancing the books. I didn't ever think that that was the right set of priorities and I'm pleased therefore that Ian Duncan Smith has come round to that point of view and resigned this evening. The Shadow Work and Pensions Secretary Owen Smith. Well, the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn.